I would say good morning, but it is not morning right now. I am currently eating my dinner right now. So if you can tell, I've been filming all day, making recipe video for, I was gonna do like a lazy Sunday brunch recipes, healthy, vegan, delicious, but it has been one of those days where like literally nothing has turned out for me. I made all these recipes, they're all good, but I have somewhat of a perfectionist mentality and like, I don't wanna put out a recipe video that the recipes don't look like amazing. All of these recipes were really, really good and they tasted delicious. Like the good thing about eating plant-based is even if a recipe doesn't turn out perfectly, you can still eat it. It's not like it's totally destroyed because usually i mean there's nothing in it there's no like eggs or meat or anything that's like going to be undercooked or that's going to be bad or that's going to make you sick or anything like that so yeah i'm currently eating portion one of my dinner which is leftover of this um potato spinach i was making potato muffins and as you guys know we don't have an oven in our house so I was like oh I'll just make the muffins in the sun oven but it's like so cloudy today and let's just go see how they're doing as you can see the muffins they're not really cooking very fast because this thing is only at like a hundred and sixty degrees and it's like super cloudy so I don't know if those muffins are gonna turn out or how it's gonna work out but they taste delicious. Like this, this muffin batter is really good. Anyways, since I ate all this food today, I'm just gonna sit down, explain to you guys, show you the footage, put all the recipes in the description box for you because it was all very delicious. Wasn't it all delicious? What's the, that? the food that I made that I yeah. like all screwed up. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. It's just not up to Hannah's oh. recipe video quality. So I'm gonna sit here with my dinner and explain to you guys what I ate today. Isn't that exciting? I also got this shirt from Stella, my friend Stella. If you guys follow Stella the Light on Instagram. She is gorgeous. She's amazing. I love her. Thank you so much for the shirt, Stella. It's so cute. I really think that this is like my color. Like I look really good in this color. I'm not gonna lie. Today was actually a really good day though. I woke up this morning. I went for a long walk. I went to the gym. I did legs. I did, actually I did full body today. So I haven't been um, showing you guys my workouts and stuff just because like these higher quality videos that I've been making really take up a ton of time and I'm trying to focus on things that are more helpful for people. Plus like when I started doing the fitness vlogs, I just got so much criticism and people were just like, you're doing everything wrong and like your form is terrible. And for me, like the personality that I have, I get really discouraged with stuff like that. Like if I think I'm doing something wrong, I just sometimes feel like there's no point in doing it. So I just decided like, I'm gonna keep going to the gym, but I'm going to stop filming it. And I still go to the gym three to five times per week. And I do, sometimes I just do like arms and abs and then the other times I'll do legs and back. But recently I've been doing like more full body days and more circuit training stuff. Because what I've realized is that I, was just using too much weight. So basically what I did was I just went back to body weight exercises and got my form correct and now I'm adding in more weight. That's that. Um, 
This is gonna be a really vlog style, chit chat type video. If you wanna get to the recipes, I'll post the exact time that I start talking about them below. I'm gonna be doing a body update once it's been six months going to the gym. So I have like one more full month and then I will be doing a body update video for you guys and showing you like the before and after of how my body changed from not lifting weights to now lifting weights consistently. And I have noticed a few things like I've just been able to eat a lot more and um, I've been hungrier. My body looks more toned. I feel like my skin is better. Like it has more of a glow to it I guess I really just haven't had like any acne whatsoever and also my periods have been a lot better so I feel like it's kind of balanced my hormones out a bit so yeah that's a little update on the gym so this morning for breakfast I made omelets for us and I wanted to try out the vegan egg the vegan egg is great for omelets but honestly I prefer like tofu scramble over it I just it does, I think it's made out of chickpea flour and it does have kind of like a floury consistency to it. I'm just not like the biggest fan of it. I honestly wouldn't buy it again. It does smell very eggy and taste very eggy, but I honestly just prefer tofu. You can get the same taste with black salt. But if you want an omelet, it makes a bomb omelet. So I made omelets. Basically, I use four tablespoons of vegan egg and you just mix it with water and then pour that into a large nonstick pan and basically just add in whatever veggies you like. So I just added in spinach, red pepper, onion, mushroom, and then I also put a piece of chow cheese in it because like you can't have an omelet without some cheese. So it wasn't the healthiest thing in the world, but it was super good and then basically you just cook that until it starts to kind of bubble and then fold it over and let it cook until it's done so like another minute or two and then I just slid it off the pan very carefully this was where my recipe disaster went wrong in the beginning because I completely like destroyed it like broke it and it looked terrible but I salvaged it and I was like let's move on the next recipe will turn out better so I just had that with like two pieces of sourdough toast and that kept me full for a pretty long time. So I actually went out and I went for a walk after that because I like to just go for like three walks a day because being a YouTuber and working from home, I could literally lay in bed all day. So I really depend on my Fitbit to like keep me active and stuff. And so I went for a walk, I think it was like three miles. I came back home and I was starting to get like hungry like an hour or two later after I got back from my walk. So I decided to make the next recipe. So usually when I do these recipe videos, I cook everything in one day and then we just end up eating it all. And those are good days because then we get like really good food because usually we eat really basically the rest of the time. So what I wanted to do for the next recipe was make like a healthy, really filling um, zucchini, just kind of like sweet, um, bread so I took a zucchini and I shredded it and then I mixed that with two bananas a fourth cup of chocolate chips I use the enjoy life brand so it doesn't have any dairy or anything in it I put in two cups of oats two tablespoons brown sugar and a teaspoon of baking powder and just mixed all of that together with a little bit of almond milk until it was kind of just like a bread batter and then I put it in these two little pans and baked it. And again, since we don't have an oven, I use these tiny little loaf pans and basically I just threw it in the um, air fryer. And I was like, I'm gonna go for another walk because this is gonna take like 30 minutes. I get back, the top is like completely burnt, but it was still like good, it was still salvaged. That's the thing about an air fryer is like, it doesn't have a lot of space. If I would have cooked this in an oven on 450 degrees for 20 minutes, it would have been perfect. But it's because I have an air fryer, like it just fried it to bits and it didn't work. So basically I ate these two loaves of chocolate chip zucchini banana bread for lunch and they were really good. Actually the top looked really burnt, but it wasn't. I think it just, um, it just looked burnt and it didn't look good so I was like this is gonna look terrible in a video and then I was just like all right I'm gonna try and make 
the dinner recipe because I can make it in the sun oven and you know it's gonna be it's gonna work out and it's really good like I really really like this so for these potato muffins how I made it is I took half a cup of flour I just used white flour you could use chickpea flour four cups of shredded potatoes two cups of cauliflower a cup of spinach so basically I just took the flour all the spices and the baking powder and I mixed it into a bowl and then I added in my steamed cauliflower and just mashed that into there until it was like really well combined I added in the spinach I added in the potatoes and then I just put these like shoved them into muffin pans so I really push them down in there so that they would cook evenly and typically you would cook these on 400 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes in your oven but like I said mine are cooking right now in the sun oven and then I just put the rest of it in my George Foreman because I had some left over I know this isn't your typical what I eat in a day fancy video this was a total recipe fail video but these recipes are really good and I wanted to share them with you guys so I was just like I'll just do what I ate today because I ate all this stuff today I would highly recommend these recipes if you follow the directions in the description box these recipes will turn out for you I promise it's just living off grid and having like no oven and only a sun oven and an air fryer a lot of times things just don't work out for me so what I was thinking about doing for my next video because Derek and I are actually going to be traveling for the next like two weeks I'm going home to see my parents and then we're going to Toronto his brother is getting married so we're going up to a cottage there which FYI if anyone is in Toronto we are doing a Toronto pig save event where we're gonna be at Fearman's pork and a few other slaughterhouses the whole day on the 28th I will leave the link to that Facebook event below Maddie Limburner is also gonna be there and I think some other youtubers are gonna be there as well I know Janine from potato wisdom is gonna be there and we're just going to be having like a vigil for the animals which it's gonna be very difficult because it's like they're on the trucks on their way to slaughter and the point of these vigils is to obviously like raise awareness for the animals lives and that they do matter but also just to give them like I'm gonna start crying also just to give them like a moment of love and compassion in their last few minutes of life like they are so terrified and they basically know what's happening and the point of the people standing out and like stopping these trucks and you know doing the footage of the animals and all that stuff is to just give them a moment of your time and your heart and just to show them some some type of love because they've never felt that in their entire lives so if anyone is in Toronto though that's gonna be happening on the 28th of September and like I said I'll leave the Facebook link below it would be awesome if we could just get like hundreds of people there and make this into a really big thing because obviously like it's why pretty much we're all vegan is for the animals so I'll leave that below for you guys but like I was saying sorry this is like the longest most rambliest video I've ever made like I was saying I think my next video that I'm gonna make I'm gonna make it before I leave and I'm gonna do like a, tr a travel essentials video because when I travel I do eat pretty healthy and I pack a lot of stuff not a lot of stuff but I pack in a certain way so that I have everything that I need so that I can eat healthy so I have things that I travel with, I have like food lists, I have things that I buy when I get to my destination, I have certain meals that I eat every day because they're easy, they're delicious, they're healthy, and they're um, just something that's really good for travel. So I'm going to be doing that video um, within the next few days for you guys and just showing you guys like what I pack when I travel so that I can eat healthy because like I do still eat junk food and stuff when I travel, it's just that... I don't like to do it like all day or I don't like being in situations where I don't have food or everything is just like chips and junk and I choose like if I could eat healthy the whole time I would but I still like going out to restaurants and like having meals and supporting vegan places that you know have vegan meals so I still do that and I don't like worry about it it's just that 
I pack in a certain way so that I can eat healthy and so that I can feel good when I'm traveling and have energy and just so that like the whole time I'm traveling I don't feel bloated and like just total crap. That will be my next video. Again, sorry that this video is just like super, super rambly and random and everything, but I highly suggest you guys try these recipes and yeah. Thank you for watching this totally ridiculous video. But I love you guys and I will see you on the next video. Peace.